Well, here we go. Uh, first run with the brand new Hobby Wing. Guys, I didn't tell you, but this thing is Bluetooth. And you just whip out your phone. Here, let me show you. Check this out, guys. This is absolutely awesome. Actually, you don't go to your app store. You just go to your app in your phone. And then you just press connect. And then it shall bring up... Truck is on, right? Oh, no. Hold on. Here we go, guys. Let me show you. All right. So turn on the truck. And there we go. So it pops up Hobby Wing 8888. Confirm. And now, guys, you are connected. And, uh, yeah, check it out. Make sure you change over your BEC if you're running a bigger servo. I got mine set to 8.4. Guys, let's go rip it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris. This is PNWRC Madness. And check it out, guys. I got a new product available for your Traxxas Sledge, your Traxxas Max, your Traxxas XRT, your Traxxas X Max, and maybe some others. Let's check it out. All right, so we have them in not only orange, we have them in red, we have them in purple, we have them in green, we have them in blue, silver, and last but not least, we got them in black. All right, that's all of them, guys. We're gonna go ahead, open up this orange set. I'll show you a couple of features about them and we'll get them put on the Traxxas Sledge. All right, definitely, we're gonna go with orange. Let's see here, guys. So, oh, we're dropping them all. So one thing about these, oh, check those out, guys. Seventy seventy five aluminum P and W R C Madness. This is the orange set, obviously. Flip it to the back, you can see it's got a nice serrated edge where it contacts your wheel. And I'll show you what wheels these actually fit. Okay, so before I tell you which wheels they fit, um, check this out. So on these wheel hex, you have a little indent. And it's going to mimic, actually, the stock wheel hex that Traxxas has made for their trucks. It has like a little indent, and only their wrenches will fit on, on, on their hex. So, guys, if you're using your stock wheel hex for your XRT, X-Max, or Sledge, or whatever else they come with, they go right on, fits, comes right off. So, check it out. We'll go ahead and take off the stock wheel hex. And these will bolt right on. And you can see that this is the size of these J Concept Magmas. Actually, guys, these just came out as well. You can find these with the original black bead locks on there on my website. They should be arriving today. But anyways, so check this out. Guys, these only work on Traxxas. Uh, they don't work on the Arma. I'm not sure what else they work on. Uh, they might work on other rigs too. I'll show you what wheels they do work on. So there we go, stock Traxxas wheel wrench. Now I do not use this, actually I've got a wheel wrench coming out very soon, but uh, this is what I'm stuck using and it works perfect. So check that out, super awesome, super nice 7075 aluminum. Guys, let's go throw this truck in the dirt after we fix a couple of things. And uh, yeah, let me show you what is going on with my Traxxas sledge. Before we go throw this truck in the dirt, we're actually going to install a brand new system. Not that I'm not happy with the castle setup, but guys, let's face it, the Tekken setup is not made for bashing. It's fast, it's smooth, but um, let me show you what's been happening. Well, yeah, you see my wires keep coming. Yeah, I'm probably geared a little too high, but yeah. So we're going to go ahead, put a Max 6 in there, and then we're going to install this 4990, 16, 50 kV. We'll get the gearing right. We'll be able to gear it a little bit better. And if we have to install a fan, we will. Uh, and yeah, that's that. So let's go ahead and install this bad boy. So we're going to be going with the Hobby Wing Easy Run Max 6 G2. Pretty stoked about this coming up because it is censored and it is 
200 amps. Guys, this thing is awesome and this truck is gonna be an absolute animal. Okay guys, so before I forget, I said I was gonna show you what wheels these fit. So this is the J Concept Magma 1 5th. Uh, they call it the large scale. And I'm running these on my X-Max and you can see there we got the 17 millimeter um, sized hole in the, in, the, in the wheel. That's the removable hex, you can see. It's got big old fatty M5 screws, I believe. And then you can also run the bigger size. So those would be like for your Creighton, your Arma Creighton 8S. And I had these on my Arma Creighton 8S and I was like, man, I don't wanna change out the inserts every time. So let me see if my lugs will fit. And you know what, they do. So if you look close enough, you can see where the serrated side of the nut is holding on. And I definitely trust them. I got them on actually my Proline wheels as well. No insert and yeah, it works perfect. So let's keep going. Okay, so before we put them in, check them out. There it is, out of the box. That is the 4990-1650 censored. That is your sensor cable. Guys, you're definitely gonna wanna get a programmer to program that. And check this one out. Couldn't help but show you, there's the brand new Max 6 G2. There is your sensor cable, your ports A, B, and C, power button. There we go. And we're just gonna solder up some XT90s. And then let me show you guys how I secure this to my chassis. First of all, get yourself an awesome little tool like this. It works everywhere on the truck. You can use it for multiple uses. I do not like when this is missing out of my tool bag. So I already did the hardest part and that was to pry, pry it up. So I got it pried up and I still haven't quite got it out of the chassis yet, but here we go. So it's only been put in there one time and it's just double back tape. As I swear by this stuff right here, it's Cal RC, Moo Clean, it's industrial grade, electric, <laughs> electrical cleaner and degreaser. This is ideal for proper cleaning of electric motors, gear suspension, removes oil, grease, dirt, cleans nitro engines and all that good stuff. So it's safe for your RC car. So basically take this stuff, clean the bottom of your ESC before you apply this stuff right here, which is 3M double back tape. And almost all racers, professional racers, use this to hold down their electronics in their cars uh, up to the 1 8th scale truggies that weigh, oh, 12 pounds or so, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, nine pounds, I don't know exactly. But I trust this stuff very well. There it is in the truck, and we're gonna take it out, clean it up, and do the exact same thing. I promise you, if you do this exact same thing to mount your ESC, it'll never come out. Well, if you maintenance your rig, you might spot it's coming loose, but this has been in here for months, many washings, and it hasn't come out. So, rag, clean it up on the chassis. Go ahead, clean it up on the bottom of the ESC. And then I just went ahead and actually did a double. I made it doubled and it's nice and flat here on this GPM CNC 7075 chassis. So it fits perfectly and that's that. All right, so I got it back up here, guys. The Max 6 is the same footprint, but it's just a little bit different. It's built a little bit differently and it does not fit directly in that spot. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take this piece of four mil carbon fiber and shim it up and it should fit. So let's see, does it fit? Just a little piece of carbon fiber. And here's the test. It fits perfect. There we go, guys. All right, so here we go. We had to recalibrate it. This new G2 stuff is fancy. Man, all right. Whew. Hopefully I got it geared right. You got a... Let's 
get my glasses back on. Okay, okay. All right, I'll take it. Ooh. Oh, we broke it, guys. That is a rare thing to happen for this guy. All right, well, we didn't break it. Oh uh, yeah, I guess we did. We broke the shock end and we just lost the screw. That's two days in a row, but we lost the dog bone. So let's find it. Uh, I was full throttle on that too. So I don't even know where it bounced to. I did not see it. So I'm gonna turn this off and look for the darn thing. Well guys, we lost the axle. Can't find it, but Oh man, stay tuned because uh, we're gonna do a rebuild on this with a full GPM kit. So thanks for watching the channel guys, and I will catch you guys later.